Hi, my name is Miss Acevedo and we're here for another read aloud. Today we're going to read Curious George Visits the Toy Store. You might be wondering why do I look like blonde today? I put on one of my wigs. Um, this is my blonde wig. We were doing character day and I thought I was trying to be inspired by Khaleesi, Mother of Dragons, but my brother says, you know what, you kind of look like one of the people from Lord of the Rings, one of the elves. So I'm also a fan of Lord of the Rings, so you can think about those characters as well. Let's find out what happens to Curious George when he visits a toy store. You know, Curious George gets very curious sometimes. So this one was recommended uh, by one of my students, I think it was George, who picked Curious George. So let's find out. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today was the opening of a brand new toy store. George and the man with the yellow hat did not want to be late. When they arrived, the line to go inside wound all the way around the corner. When the line is this long, it's not easy for a little monkey to be patient. George sneaked through the crowd. All that he wanted was to take a peek inside. Toy box grand opening, 10 a.m. today. George got to the door just as the owner opened it. This is no place for a monkey, she said. But George was so excited that he was already inside. Balls, dolls, bicycles, and games filled the shelves. There were so many toys. George didn't even know how some of them worked. And how about these hoops? What do they do? George was curious. He climbed up to pull one out of the pile. It would not move. George pulled harder. Still, it would not move. George pulled with all fours. Uh-oh. Suddenly, there was a terrible crash. Red, blue, green, and yellow hoops bounced up and down everywhere. Look, ex exclaimed a boy, bouncing up and down himself. Why haven't I seen one of these in years? said the boy's grandmother. She likes the hula hoops. She put a hoop around her waist and gave it a spin. George tried the hula hoop too. Then George pretended to be a wheel. He rolled and rolled and rolled. Whoops! He rolled right into the owner. The owner shook her head. I knew you were trouble, she said. Now you've made a mess of my new store. Again, she tried to stop George. And again, George was too quick. It, in only a second, he was around the corner and on the highest shelf. Below him, George saw a little girl point to a toy out of reach. Mommy, can we get that dinosaur? She asked. George picked up the dinosaur and lowered it to the girl. She was delighted. So was the small boy next to her. Could, could you get the book for me, please? He asked George. George reached up, grabbed the ball, and bounced it to the boy. May I have that puppet way up there? Asked another girl. How lucky that George was a monkey. He swung off the shelf, hung on a light, picked up the puppet, and put it right into the girl's hands. What a show! shouted a boy. The children held up their new toys and cheered. What a commotion! Immediately, the owner came running, and then came the man with the yellow hat. Um, I think we've had enough monkey business for one day, they frowned. Just then, a girl got in the long line to pay. What a great store, she said. What a great idea to have a little monkey helping you. The, the father had told the owner. I guess you are right, the owner replied and smiled. Then she gave George a special surprise. Thank you, George, she said. My grand opening is a success because of you. Perhaps monkey business is the best business after all. The end. I hope you enjoyed the read aloud. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend.